All right, hi, my name is Chris Conkle. Welcome to Construction Cronies. Today we're doing a hallway, and I'm gonna teach you how to do a double layer hallway with res bar very quickly. First layer is gonna be stand-ups. Second, second layer um, is gonna be 12 foot lay downs. The, uh, the res bar we went ahead and did yesterday, so first thing you gotta do is clean off, like literally one, one whole side of the hallway so that you have a free free go all right and then you need to install res bar okay every two feet we're putting double res bar at the 48 so we will we won't miss the joint okay so we do double double steel at the 48 at the joint for the lay down so that we definitely have a, a, uh, something to screw into on our bevels when doing your steel go ahead and mark uh, like a piece of channel or a stud or something uh, where you want your centers you see what I mean okay Right, we have. I have the 48 here, uh, so that we are going to line up our our top and bottom of the 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 res bar, the sound bar, okay, to the 48, uh, two foot, and then of course the bottom is always uh, on the bottom, so we don't need to mark that. But so you know, the bottom res bar always faces up, okay, like that. All right, and then they all face upwards with the flange on the bottom, all except for uh, the double 48, okay? You have to flip the second one down and the top, the top one faces down, all right? The reason is, is it, this is how it screws in better this way, right? Like it's just like having a stud. Uh, this would be the um, uh, hard, hard side or the soft side, sorry, and this would be like the hard side, I would say, or the other way around, whatever, you get the idea. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and mark it all. Make sure you mark where your joints are gonna be, okay? You have to mark both sides. Uh, the, the door frames here, because the, the, we're, we're putting, we strip it with half inch, because that's how thick the res bar is, a, is a half inch, uh, so that when we drywall it, you don't see the metal on the ends, okay? And it's properly uh, fire rated and sealed. Okay, so once you um, uh, got your steel on and it, everything's insulated, everything's been checked, go along and mark your, where your, all your boxes are. Okay, mark where all your boxes are. You see what I did there? I wrote down where the, all the boxes are, where I have to write her out. First layer is uh, the eight foot stand up. It goes into this seam, right? And then the, the second layer will be higher. So go along and measure, measure this seam. It should be pretty much the same. For me, uh, it was all 88. So every sheet, I just went and I took my, my, my T-square like this. Okay, it's 88, so that means I need to take eight inches off of uh, an eight foot. Line it up on your T-square, okay, eight, and rip, okay, and stand it up. I have the factory seams all pointed up, all right? The reason why I have all the factory seams pointed up is for my cutouts. When I do my measurements, I want to be able to have an, a flat level surface to take my numbers off, right? Because it's better for your cutouts. Um, and so, yeah, so what else do I need to tell you guys? So you're gonna need two two screws, okay? The uh, inch and a quarters will be for first layer, getting into the steel here like that. Then you'll need two inch as well to get into the steel. Uh, I'm also using uh, two and a quarter and three inch as well, so when I need to fasten ends into the joists or the bottom track, then I can. Hey, buddy. Good, you? Good. Um, so yeah, that's it. So I, I, having a variety of screws is good. Um, like I said, I have an uh, inch and a quarter, two inch, two and a quarter is the best, but uh, I only have two and a quarter or three inch. So I'm gonna, uh, you know, savor my two and a quarters. Um, so I had to go. I had to go along and take all the lights off um because i need to router the boxes so i killed the breaker i disconnected the circuit and i uh, took all the lights off we got it's a long hallway it's really dark so i'm not going to show you all the way but you'll see uh, as we go so i got my lights ready to go everything's good uh, i got a two foot bench uh my broom my t-square a level uh always level the first sheet in a longer run okay um these end walls here no it's not a big deal but always level your sheets because of two reasons uh one is when you're doing your cutouts like over like your overs and things like that for your, uh the boxes isn't the biggest deal but when you're doing sprinklers where you have to be tight to the sprinkler it's a good idea to have level sheets so you can get a proper center when you're drawing your tape across um also, it'll hit the top better when you lift it up and 
when you're cutting into like doors or things like that because we have to end on the like the first second layer on on the door because um the expansion joints are right here so we're gonna stop three eighths or we're gonna have three eighths expansion joints at all the doors okay um so it's good to have level so you're not angle cutting things okay you're, you're able to just rip a strip rip a cut real like straight and uh yeah let's get to it i have my lifter we're gonna bump them into the into the top uh and uh away we go okay right there Two screws, that's what they're good for. Tack it in your sheets, perfect. It's nice and yellow, because you need to go through the half inch to get them in, okay? So it's beautiful. All right. And then we go ahead and screw it off. Tack it in where all the steel is. So well, for one, we're securing the steel for the top layer. <clears throat> All right, box. to point the ends in first line up the bottom corner all right got your bevel tight and then you're just gonna lift it up I should be able to get this better than this other one. why these guys gotta be careful their wires like they gotta push them in it's not really our job to inspect everyone but be careful of that give the wires a quick peek <sighs> mm. <clears throat> and you see a loose one like that we're gonna <clears throat> give it some extra strength for top layer <clears throat> boom <clears throat> And you're only putting in one screw in each side of the steel, okay? Because it's just first layer. <laughs> the second layer will screw it all off, okay? It'll be screwed through both layers. All right, so I left one sheet out here. <sighs> Seven three quarter, same. So like I was saying, right, uh, just put it on the eight. You know, you're taking eight inches off and keep your tape in your pocket. <sighs> Boom. 
don't worry about rasping too much. Just give her a quick, quick rasp. And that's her buys. The hallway is uh, five feet, so we can turn the board inside it just like so. All right, get your lifter lined up. Get your bottom corner in. Okay, you know what? I'm going to. all the boxes in here. And then I can still get that tighter. I didn't want to sink it totally in, but if I just get one packed in, there we go. <sighs> Same thing here. All right, and we're good to go. So I did. I have the line. I don't need to measure over. I got the line. I just got to make sure I got seven and three quarter. Hey, buddy, how's it going? First layer is first layer, but let's see if I'm not good. <laughs> That's why we don't use the quarter inch bit on finished layer, because it's crazy. But uh, it, this is nice too, because it also gets a nice finish around the box, because you can see these boxes have bubbles. So when you're doing your top routering, it's you have a nice clean line or space for your for your bit, and that's it. Yeah, you know I man. Tell you that bevel, beautiful. So with the overhang on the door, just quickly hop back and back cut it. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Alrighty. Take the old router. I like the bench. I'm just a little too short, man. Boom. Baby. Boom. 
boom, just like that. Oh, see? <laughs> see, that's the nice thing with these big bits too, if you got crazy overhang. Just give her a shave shave, dollar shave.